Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Bragg. Oh, I knew that was coming. Yeah. Um, look. <laughs> Man's trying to catch a Dragonite. I've just completely missed that. Look, that goes over there now. Uh, look, it's been an interesting week of... I did a bunch of Master Duel. I've gone back on the Rust Duels and Duelings as well to try and oh, get King of Games. Yeah, Everything but the TCG. <laughs> Was this week when I played TCG? Did I turn? No, I wasn't there on Tuesday. No. no. Yeah. Uh, trying to, like, I'm thinking of switching to Guardian Chimera Horus. Oh. I didn't realise that was a variant that was going around. Yeah. yeah. It's around. It's not good. <laughs> it's semi prevalent in the OCG. Yeah, it turns out. Is it going to put in any work? Doubtful. But tears just, tear, like, T is so Luxacky that I don't want to do too many tournaments in a row with it. But also, it feels bad skipping a tournament of tier while it's still legal and we've got the Millers, because we ain't going to have them forever. I don't know. I can't see them really getting into them too much. Like, they're doing stuff, but it's not like they're a threat. Oh, yeah, they're not a threat. No, they're not a threat at all. Put them into three. So what <laughs> I'm hearing is I'm supposed to go and now play, uh, play Infernoid no. with the Millers. No. Yeah. No. Please don't. But I'm going to play Hot Red Infernoid. And then you just have a million level one searches. But no, all of them work from the grave. Bonfire doesn't work from the grave. It's, it's okay. We don't have Bonfire. Yet. Yet. Uh, what are but we getting that? Uh, uh, January. Second week? Catch me second week. Is it week really that soon that we get the next set? No, but that's when we get Bonfire. Bonfire's not the next set. It'll probably be in a. No, I thought Bonfire's in Maze, Maze of Illusion. Oh, it is too, yeah. yeah. The Did Maze of... The s- um, Memories. My- Mysterio? Oh, I thought it was Maze of Illusion. But yeah. No, there's Did, another M. We can't, yeah, we can't, like... I even made fun of him for not remembering it. On, Millennia. On, on TikTok. Yeah, that's it. And here I am forgetting it. Yeah, bitch. There Wait, are you are making fun of me on TikTok? Yes. No. <laughs> it's okay, Jake. You won't, you won't watch the TikTok. Neither will I. We Neither will brag. Do you watch the reel? I only watch Vines. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look. Ben on those fucking three hour <laughs> Vines that hit the Happy Place compilations. <laughs> <laughs> vines will be so much easier. No, not really. It's so hard to contract our content to six seconds, as last week's episode duration would indicate. I only watch vines that have dual discs in them. That's it. It's oh. the only short form content I I, I I watch. It's all I watch. Could do the, could do some rush dual dual disc vine content. So anyway, um, everything but the TCG so, you played. Uh, any highlights? So rush dual takes seven seconds, so it won't work for vine. Yeah, too long it's for vine. It's a big seven. You can't. You can't. Sorry, continue. That was a terrible joke, and I can't no, believe you interrupted good. my that's fucking. Pretty good. No, yeah. that's worth it. No, that might even make I, it into a TikTok. It would because TikTok's <laughs> fucking garbage. Um, Hi, TikTok. No offense to our TikTok viewers. All 20 of you. So, any highlights from everything but the TCG you played? Oh, no, I was terrible. <laughs> How are you, Ben? I don't want to talk about my week you get. Yeah, my That's week fair. was also not great. Oh. Um, I mean, I'll talk about it, but it wasn't great. Um, oh, yeah. That's how my week went. <laughs> yeah, so we had our OTS champs today. Yeah. Neither Ben or I did well. Um, oh. Yeah, I actually don't want to even give the winner any credit by talking about them. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I do want to. I, Josh isn't going to see this, so uh, I'd like to point out the fact that he was like, "Ha, huh, I just don't come to locals and I win easy." Yeah, it's like amazing what happens when you just go and test at home online, and no one at locals gets to test against your deck. Mm. Yeah, it's fascinating. Uh, it also helps that. He just did the Josh thing and opened game three. Game oh, three, no, it's yeah. just like, oh, yeah, uh, Lancey Rash, which is uh, turn skip against thing. And then I'm like, uh, look at your hand. Uh, hand is like two ways to full combo plus... Uh, Another hand trap, surely. Uh, it was two ways to full combo plus parallel exceed. And I was like, oh, fuck, so right off. That's yeah. Me. Like, that's math, me. and that's what Math Mag does. Like, yeah. it's very dependent on that. And uh, congratulations on your luck, Josh. And that was that. 
The good news is he has no reason to come in again for a while, so we don't have to deal with that. What was the plan? I'd prefer him to just. Um, come in. It was Dark Hole Dragon. I would prefer him to just, you know, yeah. I'd prefer to play against him every week. Yeah, definitely. I'd, yeah. Yeah, I could take it or leave it. Anyway. No, no offense to the Joshua fans out there. No, I'm surprised you bring him on the pod considering he won. No, if I had to stay in the room with him for another minute, I think I would have punched him in his God, face. It would have been so obnoxious. I'm so looking forward to the next time seeing him. Uh, also, uh, I asked him for his deck list because I was kind of curious. Uh, my brother plays Math Mech as well. He then proceeded to message me every in- card individually. In individual messages? Yeah, so I can't copy and paste it. And he was probably doing it from memory too. Probably. So it's probably wrong. Yeah. Who gave him the SP? Tom. Tom. <laughs> yeah. Look. What a week in Yu-Gi-Oh it was. Yeah. And let's never speak of it again. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so we start with Master Duel. Uh, so there's a few things going Wait, on with Master Duel. What's that? Yeah, we'll get, I'm literally talking about it. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. just, Shut I'm up. A, I'm we better talk about it. Yeah. So, firstly, Ritual Festival underway. Yeah. Um, I hate it. Yeah, it's not the most fun. So I made the I made the executive decision to be like, I'm going to build a ritual deck that I enjoy playing. Which was? I chose to build Necros, and it doesn't work when there's no extra deck. Yeah, I had the same issue with Dogmatica. You can't get uh, what you want done with the extra deck that is provided. Yeah. Herald's not there? No, no, no. It's more... Uh, your opponent's one. not going to yeah. summon from their extra yeah, deck, so unicoring them is useless. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it effectively with me being like uh, Trish you, Valk, Trish you again, yeah. Valk, try and Trish you again. Yeah, Trish Turbo and does not work. By when... that point, I'm losing to all the other ritual decks that are shit ritual decks, but they have a negate, so. Mm. <laughs> On that point, um, the Nouvelles, the Evil Dinner archetype, is actually like the loner deck that you get, just really good. Maybe I should just play that. Honestly, you get to search a counter trap every turn. Okay. And all you need to activate the counter trap is a Nouvelle Ritual monster. Or Hungry Burger? No, I think it I'm needs out. specifically... How long have you got left for the festival? Uh, be a few days at this point. Yeah, I've really got to at least give the Thousand Eyes deck a run. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I started with the Good dinner idea. deck, um, and then so in one specific cubics. matchup, I think I was versing yes. Prediction Princess, and it just fucking wrecked me. Yeah. So I was like, well, this clearly isn't good. So I moved on to uh, Vendred, except it's kind of a Povo Vendred, because I didn't want to craft that many URs. Um, well, that's my problem. But the it. URs oh, that I did. <laughs> that was part of the reason why I crafted Necros, because it only had one UR in the deck. Seriously? Yeah. Fuck. It's just Trish. Yeah, shit. It's like okay. the reverse of the TCG release. <laughs> uh, like, because I had like 2,000 SRs, I was like, fuck yeah, I'll craft this. So. Waste of gems. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I built Vendreds and I put in like a Zombie World and um, Baeldrock Bal- um, sort of engine thingy. Yep. Uh, the problem I found is that I was only ever doing one or the other. I'd either just go like. Bale drop zombie world pass and hope for the best. Yep. Or I'd like put up some ritual stuff and hope for the best. It was very rare that I got everything on the board at once. Okay. Why doesn't zombie world just say can't tribute? Uh, yeah. I feel like they would have banned it in the did, ritual event if it did say that. Did they ban Mask of Retreat? Surely I not. I don't know. Um, I didn't check. Because if you go first, you would just win. Unless they play Spell and Trap Destruction. They also banned Maxine I don't the house for a long time. Which kind of makes oh, sense. Whenever I do these festivals, I don't put hand in my deck. So it's like... Mm. I mean, I had Ash and stuff in there. Wait, Ash is in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like every, oh, de- God. every decent deck can run pre-preps. Yes, it's like yeah, Ash, Ash. I found out when I got Ash on my preparation of rights. So I was like... Hmm. But prep's not what's per turn. Just do it again. Either or all the Necros searches that I had in my hand. So I was like... Huh. Oh. That's a pain in the ass. Okay, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Brio? Uh, yeah, so that one has a few more days left. Uh, if you need yeah. some gems and stuff, it's probably worth jumping on. This isn't the answer that I wanted. I want that. Uh, what's shut that? the what's fuck it? up, Ben. Hurry up. So, in celebration of the 25th anniversary, 
you, as a login bonus, will soon be able to obtain the alternate art of Obelisk the Tormentor. And I'll have it in real life and in a virtual cut. Mm, but it gets better. Uh, so you can obtain alternate art. Oh, ew. Um, the movie of, Yeah, I was thinking of the original. No. Yeah, the alternate art. I did say that. You can the also obtain the art, other. Dickhead. Shut the fuck the, up. The you original stupid. alternate art is much nicer. Now, oh, whatever. It's a fucking movie art. No, nah, the, the, because the, the, the Takahashi uh, jump art. So, the, the other two Egyptian gods uh, have secret missions to be able to obtain those. Oh. Shh, don't tell anyone, Jake. It's They're secret. secret currently. I dare say it'll be a thing that flashes up immediately. Or they may just do that other thing that they did for a login bonus for the 25th, in that it's like you log in the first day you get Obelisk, the second day you get Slifer, and the third you get fucking raw. The mission is log in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but that's a cool little thing. I mean, doesn't really do much. No one's going to play them, but... The secret to acquire Slifer is you have to beat up a possessed junkie. Yes. Remember? He possesses a junkie. Oh, yep, sure. Okay. With all the piercings. Yep, 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 yep. I'm with you. That's why he's a junkie. Yep. Because of the piercings. Yeah, yeah that's Not to that profile, that, that's but he was that definitely works, a junkie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, while we're on the topic of alt arts, we've also got an alternate art uh, from the upcoming Sky Striker lore, which so, thankfully... I'm going to be real. I saw this alter art and was like, this is ripped off of something. Like, this alt art looked... I've, I've seen this alt art before. I couldn't even tell the mm -hmm. difference. Yeah, and I where had you seen it? <laughs> yeah, I just looked at it and went, oh yeah, that's Rose. Like, this is not what Rose... Oh, it's a bit further out on... I feel like this art is from some video game. I mean, to be fair, when I saw it, I was like, there's almost no it's... difference between this and normal Rose, other than the very reddish, brownish sort of background. And was it like it's in the same framing as um, Ray is. Yes. Like, a bit to the right and... They just didn't try very hard, which no. is weird, because usually with Sky Striker stuff, they tend to put their entire department on making it. What are the odds that whoever submitted the original art request, it just it was completely, like, unpublishable, because they're degenerates? And they're, oh, like, and they're yeah. like, oh god, quickly uh, slap uh, Rose skin on, um, on Ray. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Has yeah. to be. We're on you. Jesus Christ. Um, but we'll start coming soon. <laughs> Literally. Also, um, we get some more Sky Striker cards to go in the archetype. Um, so they get another sort of garbagey card that um, like specials itself by getting rid of spells. Um, but this one also summons Rose from Deck or Grave. That's the good one. Uh, well, they're all kind of garbage. Let's be real. Not compared to the Link. Uh, Wait, the did link. they give them more cards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got the link for a couple of weeks ago. They They've just got, this... got an alt art. Because yeah. really... it's, it's the final chapter of the manga. Yeah, yeah. For so, now. So the silver, <laughs> the silver lining of this is that based on the releases that like, oh, this is the final part of the lore, this is the last time we'll ever have to hear about this unless they just like release every Sky Striker card to three again and we just have to live in that format again. Oh, they'll probably do an ex like, they're gonna do like a, a collection of them, like a collection of the chapters and then have another card in it. Like, it's just gonna keep going. Like, can it not though? Like, it's so done. I anyway, like that link. The link's good, but honestly, you could just name it anything else, it'd still be good. Yeah. So, um, new link three uh, needs two plus monsters, including a link, uh, must first be link summoned. If it's special summoned, banish one spell from your hand or graveyard, target a monster your opponent controls with 2500 or less attack, equip that face up monster to this card as an equipped spell. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle, special summon a Sky Striker, one other Sky Striker monster from your hand or graveyard. Yeah. Uh, and then they have another link to, we didn't get a picture for this one. No. Um, this one, if special summon, target a monster on the field with 2500 or more attack, negates effects until the end of the turn. And at the start of the damage step, uh, if it attacks and you have Ray or Rose in your graveyard, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Okay. I hate it. Works with linkage. Yay. I hate it so much. My, my brain was doing the monkey thing of... <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll move on to something that may excite Brad. Why don't you play Strikers? Well, Maybe I like you strikers. should. No. Just stop. Uh, we have the Speed Duel GX Midterm Destruction set coming out. 
Uh, so this one places more oh, emphasis right. on the elemental hero Neos portion of Jaden's deck. Yeah. Uh, it also has some Dino DNA cards like Ultimate Tyranno and Fossil Fossil Skull Geos. Let's give them Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Oh, that would fucking I wreck would, it. I would be so angry. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Moki Moki Power King is also getting a reprint in there. Hello, Moki Moki the... King. Hmm. Um, other than that, we don't have a lot of and news the, for this one yet. The Sartorgius, um, the Arcana. Well, he's on the box, but it doesn't make any specific mention. Oh, I thought it literally said him. Oh, no, there we go. The um, yeah. yeah, Arcana Force. Or yeah. the Lovers. Or they stand to chance against. Maybe I will play it just to play Arcana Force. Best so, release sure, of the year. Surely they don't give it the world. Surely Give they it them all! Ho it's a coin toss. Hollow cup of ace. Except it's not, because you can cheat it. What if they don't give them the cheat cards? Oh, which... As if it's not going to be a skill for the deck. Oh yeah. Control the coin toss? Is that not already a bandit key skill in that game? In speed duel? Yeah. Uh, no, isn't it dice? Oh no, it might be the coins. Oh my god. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrel dragon <laughs> coin. Yeah. Is this dual links or...? No. It's Seb uh, asked if it was Duel Links. It's paper Duel Links. I don't know if you comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying in Duel Links they have Barrel Dragon. D yeah, you have the coin control. That's why I figured they just released it already. No, no, Bandit Keith's in Speed Duel is you just change your top deck. You have a little contraption that comes out from your sleeve. <laughs> you can legally choose. Yeah, pretty much. I always have a Jackpot 7 on my sleeve. Um, we do get our next V-Jump promo as well. Uh, so this one is a link to uh, Light Type, but we don't know the... Oh, yeah, we know it's Light Attribute, but we don't know the rest. Uh, so it's called Moon of the Closed Sky. The artwork is very much a reference to like a younger underworld goddess. Yeah, I was going to say, assuming this is different to... Yeah. So you'd assume that in some respects it's going to have interaction in the graveyard? Because that's what the original did. Uh, it's link arrows are garbage. Sorry, continue, but I, I just remembered something from my week in Yu Gi Oh! Uh, so the first image is uh, a new form of that one link monster, um, and the link monster with the powerful effect. Uh, so its effect will be revealed on December 7th, so we'll keep you posted. Oh, Merry December 7th. Mm. No, um, on the seventh day of Christmas, ages Army away. gave to me. Eight. That's ages away. Um. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, Moe uh, Let's so I explained to, to Jake earlier that I found a random backpack, or my old backpack, uh, when yeah. I was back, cleaning, back, back, back. and, uh, it had a bunch of, like, old Yu-Gi-Oh shit inside of it, including my gold pot of greed coin. Uh, it also just had a secret rare, uh, a beak, not, not beak, called Thunderbolt, the one that points down that summons a fiend. The one that's like mediumly expensive. Mark Racker? Mark Racker. Just had a secret Mark Racker in one of the pockets. I was like, oh, this is where the second one went. I mean, in okay. fairness, that's how I discovered mine. I was putting Unchained together with the new support. And I was like, oh, fuck, I still need a Mark Breaker. I need a fucking Zeus and all this shit. And I was just looking through my binders for like bits and pieces. And it was just chilling at the back of my binder. I was like, oh, I pulled one? Fuck yeah. There we go. <laughs> Done. Next thing. Next thing, we get our next alternate art from the Terminal World, and this one is Genex Ally Birdman. Um, Ban that card. Birdman. So the background is the Mist Valley field spell. Oh, that's surprising. No, oh, not really. Kind of works with it. And I thought Genex Birdman was a lawyer, attorney at law. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he's flying through the sky, and he's got one of the I think Mist Valley Vulture or something in the background. I don't know if that's. I a don't card. know why. Maybe I've just missed something with the Gen X. I thought the Gen Xs and the Miss Valleys were... No, they must be on the same no, no. side. Um, no, no. The, the... Wait, no. What am I thinking of? No, it's literally called Gen X Alley, so that makes sense. Alley. Yeah. Ally. <laughs> Ally. Um, <laughs> no, because with the... I don't know. I don't know that part of the law. It's too soon for me. They're all uh, lawyers, Jake. Shut I up. I told you this. They're not fucking lawyers. Shut the fuck up. All Birdman are lawyers. Birdman. Car. It can't be car. <laughs> uh, so, we get news of our pre-release uh, for whichever set it is. The one whose name I can't remember. The Phantom Goblin Nightmare. set. Which I'm worrying yeah, is Goblin really set. shit. Phantom Nightmare. Um, so, the Ultra promo that will be given out um, as a one-off now, which I still really hate that they do that. 
Uh, this one it is the price. Goblin Biker Grand Entrance. Yeah, but I never get them because my pulls in the sneak peek are always garbage. Are you saying that you think Goblin's going to be crap or the set's going to be crap? Goblin's going to be crap. Yeah. It's done nothing in the OCG. <laughs> Yeah, it was I that was, one week where like there was just everyone was playing it to get a feel of it, and then they all yeah, quit. I was pretty hype on it. Not anymore. Not anymore. Do you know what the problem is though? What? In like pretty much post zoo, there hasn't been an Xyz archetype other than maybe Pearly that's like done super well. Because you got to worry about Zeus. <laughs> Konami can't make it busted because if they have the ability to like semi clear a board or semi bait out everything, they can just go, huh, <laughs> Zeus, win. See? That's um, unfortunately, it doesn't have. No. Where's Rongo Bongo? I mean, Rongo, Rongo was less a an archetype and more a floodgate that they should have addressed a lot sooner than they did. Rongo more. was also five years ago. <laughs> Feel old yet? I mean, Soldier I'm constantly does. reminded about how old I am, so it's hard to ever <laughs> forget. Uh, anyway, we move on to questions, which seems really early. Um, but because we're not in an hour-long podcast. Hmm? Jake's, Jake's, I, do you guys catch that? He's trying to stall. A little bit. He, um, he he's aiming to make a vine. Like, mm-hmm. um, Look at him go. Look man stall like crazy. I'm just double-checking where we were Or maybe we should... Guys, um, I forgot another thing about our weekend year. Should we should oh, we plug the saying. should we plug the end of year tournament again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do that. Nothing. Donations, it, but... Discord, there. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'll do a post in the community tab this week. I swear. You said you were gonna do that last. I know. I forget to do it. I need to do it, but I'm too focused on 2017 Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that's why these glorious playmats are here. The pendulum zones are back where they belong. But yeah, in this apartment. <laughs> It was a good format, so. Well, actually, Maybe since we'll we're do talking a about 2017 it, 2017 retrospective, like right now. No, like we'll do a 2017. <laughs> I was going to say we could probably do it now. We have the time. <laughs> do you want to see a 2017 retrospective video? Because we're getting super into 2017 format. Hey, what were you doing was, before this podcast? It was so long ago. Uh, catching a mega Kungus can't down the road. No, you were doing nothing but test hands for 2017 format. Yeah, all those Dark Lord combos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Summon vanities. <laughs> summon vanities. Draw, 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 Set draw, up draw, a destruction summon pass. <laughs> draw, 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 draw. Summon vanities. Pass. Honestly, if it weren't for the desires being so crucial in that deck, you could have just whacked Exodia in there for the shits and gigs. Yeah. True. Instead, yeah, we're playing 2017 format. Um, there'll probably be some 2014 content float. Uh, 2017 content float around. <laughs> we're building 2017. Yeah. There'll be some 2014 content. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get my Bujins in there as well. <laughs> Bujins. Uh, now so that we yeah. know about the law, the ever exciting law of, I was ejected from heaven. Yes, that. The only law I care about now is Birdman law. Bird- Birdman. Ah, oh, yes, Birdman. The Birdman. They, I still haven't seen that movie. They moved the Konami logo from here to here. How many sets were between this? That then gives it a different spacing at the top of the. There's at least a few sets between this. Uh, Quite a few. Oh, yeah. there's, there's like a year and a half between these. Yeah. The only reason I can imagine it is because of exactly where your hand fell just then. Like, if people are sort of resting their hand, they're covering the Konami logo when they're on a the stream. <laughs> like, no! Show it! Cover yeah. the website though. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh so, uh, moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have this a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from Tuesday's noob. Uh, should you re- should what? I said hello. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, should you reward for finishing higher in Swiss part of a YCS? Be getting to choose play slash draw in the top cut rather than just more dice rolls ah uh, like a seeding situation um, yeah sure fuck it I think it's more like the, like the um, like IDs and stuff that people do in Pokemon no 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 I think I think what he's getting at is if you're if you're make if you get the top 32 if you finish in the top 16 you get to choose if you go first or second and then when he gets to top eight, the highest seeded player gets to choose if they go first or second. I don't think that's what he's. That's asking. exactly what it says. Play slash draw. 
So I think he's saying, like, I think it is IDs. IDs. Not Tuesday, true. noob, clarify this, because I think I'm right. Okay, so based on Classic Ben band. being right, you're saying, a like, you should choose. Wait, you get to choose if you go first or second, if yeah. you get to a certain point. If you're the higher. That is fucked. Do better in Swiss. <laughs> Just say draw the out. Like, you might as well at that point. Well, if you're first place after Swiss, they've only finally started giving that person a reward for that effort. Um, yeah, if you finish first in Swiss, you should get to choose the whole way through whether or not you go first or second in top 32. That's legitimately fucked. Who cares? Do better. <laughs> the people that aren't getting that privilege. Oh, guess what? Do better. <laughs> you finish first in Swiss? Yes? Be rewarded for it. I think this is a great idea. Right? Yeah, I mean, 11 rounds going undefeated is like, should be rewarded with however... Yes. More should be done. They just get a giant card now. Um, At least they now get a giant card. It's not even a giant card, it's, just, they uh, get... it's an oversized. Oh. I don't know if I can make this joke, so um, I'm going to swear directly after it as a marker. Um, don't, just don't make the joke, because I'm not oh. going to edit it out. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Jake was going to say the N-word. <laughs> I, was, I was not. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. He, Jake wasn't going to say the N word. Jake was going to say that if you're white, you should get to choose if you're first or second. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, Literally had sure, nothing to do sure. with so racism. So disappointed, Jake. I don't so like being made out to be a racist. What was his dueling book login again? His name? <laughs> <laughs> so, to address the actual question that he asked, he's asking about IDs, and that's a very common thing, IDs at least legal. in Pokemon. They're not no meant to be. Yeah. You have to coincidentally D. You can't ID. Coincident you get banned if you ID. Even in D. Pokemon? No, in you, you. Well, that's what I'm fucking saying. And that's what he's asking. Should you be allowed to do that? Are you allowed to do Well, no. Why not? Why not? Because it's not legal. Oh. You can't break the law. Bootlicker. What I'm saying is, <laughs> should it be made legal? Yes. No. Who cares? Why not? Play it out. If you get Play lucky, it out, but you want someone to be like, no, nah, I'm going first, fuck if you. If you get lucky yes. enough to pair your friend, what you should have the privilege. Give seating in top 32. Give seating in top 32. I don't know what's going on in your head, but it's wrong. No, I think it's straight, no, straight out, you, you should, should have. You should get home field advantage. And there should be wild cards from the top 64. Especially if it's a 1900 person YCS for the top 32 card. Yeah, give us wild cards. Give us a playing game. <laughs> If you finish 33rd, you should get to play against 32nd for that spot. <laughs> That's fine. Imagine getting into the top 32 and it's like the fucking sirens from Smash Brothers play. A new challenger! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh, I think these are great ideas. And that also gives the people at the top a, a break. I mean, you have to. Yeah. I mean, you have to schedule for the day to go longer because there's gonna be more matches. But at the same time, I mean, ah, it's an extra hour and a half if you do two rounds of playing. They're already not paying judges. No, they're yes. giving them a product and a cool. Precisely loot. what I said. They're not paying judges. So, Imagine doing a day's work and then having to work to get your money for it. Like that's a fucked system. But you just explain, explain to work. Yeah. What? Imagine working for a day and then having to work to get money. That's how. That's how. That's how. The not world. communism works. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when you do your 38 hours a week, there comes a day where you just get money. Is this the Wait, second what? week in a row Jake's been communist? <laughs> no. I don't. Rec for some reason, I have the feeling that Jake was communist. No, we were both communist. Because we said that cards well, should we only... move. We continue moving. <laughs> to the I, next question. I see how it is. To the okay. Next All right. So next question comes to us from Matthew Mack, uh, for Bragg specifically. <laughs> how many spring rolls can you take? <laughs> so I went back on the tape because I wanted to know why I said it, and someone said the word shovel, and I went to say sc I was intending to say scoff. It was a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but look. Not gonna lie, I have. If you uh, donate, <laughs> but for lack of a better term, I've been dining out on that joke all week. Like any chance that I've had to make that joke, I have made it, and I made it in a chat where your uh, partner, who was unaware of this joke, can see that. She's like, "Excuse me, what?" <laughs> yeah, we just didn't elaborate. Like, yeah. <laughs> nope, just left it. <laughs> Look, for the record, 
I'm not a big fan of hot sauce on spring rolls. So, I'm, I'm good. Yes. I'm good. Why don't you like sweet chili sauce on spring rolls? I just can't be fucked. Sweet chili does nothing for me. Like, I'll eat it plain. I mm. think sweet chili sauce on spring rolls is the only way I eat sweet chili sauce. Well, yeah, like... Oh, you don't like the, the the thing where you can flip it and it's the the cheesy cream? No, 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 no. I don't want that texture of yeah. hot food. No. Wait, Philadelphia or on spring rolls? No, no. I'm just talking about the other the only other time I've seen sweet chili being consumed is ah. in that wedges. scenario. Oh, he's no. wedges. Nah, no, 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 no. wedges. Wedges are like I'll go sour cream or dry. <laughs> if it's a good wedge, I'll appreciate the batter. Or the crumbing or whatever the fuck's on the outside. If it's a bad wedge, I just don't eat it. What's a bad wedge? Soggy. Too big? I don't like too big of wedges. But I'm, I'm a it's bitch with potatoes. It's got a crunch to it. You know? It's got a crunch. Yeah. Definitely the crunch. Chico's wedges are OP. Yeah. They're it's a bit. a little while longer. Well, oh, yeah. we can go to the great state of fig tree. I ain't going there. Okay, I might go there. <laughs> <laughs> On Almost immediate retraction. on a Monday night on the way home from basketball. Will it still be open by that point if you have a late game? Well, definitely well, a late game. Well, we won't get a late game. But he won't even be eating dinner that late if it's a late game. Yeah. Well, maybe he would. You don't want to eat dinner before basketball. No, I just go really early. Ah. Oh, My brother so. also doesn't eat before basketball. Yeah, you don't want to vomit. Which shits me to tears when he has like a fucking 7.40 game. I have to wait until like nearly 9 o'clock to eat. Why is he without him? Because sometimes we've already got stuff prepared and it just goes to shit. Imagine, imagine doing it together. Like, we've always been independent with our meals. Yeah. Like, there are times when one of us cooks for the other. We're just like, oh, okay. special occasion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably due for one. We need a barbecue. Yeah, we need... The cladding's off, so then we just got to wait for the... The, but the warning's still up in the elevator. Welcome to the life of us here in the Cowboy for Game apartment where we can't. I don't know why he's not asking the next question. He's he's. I'm dragging this out. Uh, so what? our next because we fucking spent no time on this. Oh, that's okay. Our next question comes for us from Arch. With the rise of the live action anime, how long before oh, we yeah. get live action Yu Gi Oh? Oh god. How bad or good would it be? You could do first season good. Yeah. There's a way to do it good. Yeah. My concern with it would be because you'd have to have the live action people, but then you'd still have the animated or CGI monsters and like trap card interactions that it'd end up just looking like Who Framed Roger Rabbit with like a bunch of cartoons running around next to people. Yeah. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is great. It is a great movie for its time. No, it's great for now. Does Warner still have the um does one still have the like, broadcast rights for Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure it's still carried on CBS and that. Well, what, their affiliates. So, and then I'll go. If it is ever made, uh, their track record of uh, cross-animation live-action films being uh, making it to release isn't good. So, J- <laughs> their, their, their track record for a lot of things making it to release is not great. So, you raise this point of... How did we get here? Is this a question? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Are we... Sorry, my brain just took and I was like, wait, are we on just a huge tangent right now? How am I the old one when you just slipped into Alzheimer's? Where so, am I? What are we talking about? So, Where's my pudding? In relation to the pudding. Go. Pegasus. Oh, yep. The tune cards would be really cool. Yeah, because Dark Rabbit would just be Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> but, but there's one, there's a part of like, well, One Piece, like where it, it looks weird at times, but you just go, oh, how else are they going to fucking do it? So I, yeah. I think that's kind of going to be the mindset going into any live action you get. As long as it's not cringe, which it, it there's going to be cringe, but it, I don't want it to be cringe. I don't think it'll be cringe <laughs> if it's season one. Once the dual discs get involved, yeah, no. it'll be cringe. Yeah, it's like if it's them on opposite sides, they're talking it out. We're playing for souls. We cut out the part where Kaiba shows up on the island with the dual discs. We get her out of the Asian caricatures. We cut that part out. Oh yeah, no. Um, Para, no keep and, those in. Para and Docs. I want Para and Docs. I want both of them. They're not there. I'm not watching. We get rid of the sus guy pulling women into bushes. <laughs> Wasn't that just? 
Panic? Yeah. Yeah. No, we keep I... Panic. Mm. You're really keeping some odd aspects of this. Do we keep the guns? The Getting place. the guns back. Bring the good. guns back. Yeah, 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 we need the guns. Because yeah, Bandit Keith jumping over to Pegasus with a gun, you! and then him like not caring, and then trapdoor ah! <laughs> is. I'd love to see it. Oh god, give us that season one anime. Season two, don't really care. Season one, I'm in. So, on that point, if it's season one. You know how, like, when something gets adapted, like how everyone lost their shit when um, that uh, Avatar movie got done the first time because it was, like, not representative of the original. Oh, the original. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it was, like, not representative of what we'd been shown before is, like, completely different. Yeah. How much do you think people would complain about that in season one? Oh. Like, if they were just playing by the, like, I'll do what the fuck I want rules kind of thing. No, it's... Play by them. Yeah, two thousand life points. Contact directly. Attack the moon. Yeah, something sick. Yeah, but yeah, but then like the secret fields. random field bonuses. Yeah, and <laughs> going twenty percent of the field is. <laughs> 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 Got to be a fucking geologist to work out what my fucking attack points are. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be so. We will be. Who would you cast as Weevil? Just actually, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't need acting experience. Just cast him. No, I want. Um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if he's still alive. Elon can be. I feel friends. like. I feel like he may have died, but I want Gil. I want Gilbert he's Godfrey. Got... Is Gilbert Godfrey dead? I feel like he might be. Man, pull one out for Gilbert Godfrey. Next question, Jay. I feel like he is. Uh, next question is again from Matthew Mack. Uh, what is the wildest ruling in Yu-Gi-Oh? If forget. Hmm. No, that's not a wild ruling. That makes perfect sense. Um, I don't know what this... I've just kind of become accustomed to rulings. And that's the way they are. That I don't think rulings are that stupid anymore. With capital double O. Um, I swear there was a point where I had something in mind for this. Any time that we rely on the OCG without <laughs> the English clarification. Even for larger mechanics. Because there's still stuff that they haven't clarified. That yeah. Has been ruled, and yeah, and we now rule it based on those rulings. But no, no, we can't use the OCG, even though every other time has been oh, the precedent's been set by YCS, which is based on an OCG ruling. Like, the, oh, I can't use that. The last time they actually were like, guys, this is the official ruling, was when they changed the rule for uh, activation destinations. The card triple for cost, yeah. you can Zeus, oh, you can and, and it yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't resolve its grave, its secondary gra hit grave effect. Just on that, I was randomly thinking about this the other day, unprompted by this question. How fucked would the current game be if they didn't bring that in? The amount of things that just trigger when they're sent to Graveyard now, like if you had no mechanic to disrupt that, yes. would be fucked. Like, Drytron would still be tier 1. Yes. Imagine not being able to... Uh, hit Ben 10. We will be a steal. Be a steal, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That would... <laughs> the world champion got suspended. He, Slash did, suspend. he did. And the other one got um, reinstated. Well, not the world champion, but um, the guy from the South America YCS that got banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he got, back. He got reinstated a little while back, I think. Yeah, a little while back. And um, Distant Coda is also back now. Who? Mm -hmm. Something that I found Speaking out today watching the the Mega Capital G video. That's right, guys. I watched a Mega Capital G video. I thought he stopped making content. No, he just makes drama content now, which is... <laughs> I'm, I'm all in for it. If he's not trying to tell people how to play, I actually don't mind him. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> um, yeah, he did, like, a... The unbanned and banned players. The That guy from Head to Head Battles got his hit, ban extended. <laughs> like, they're, they're purposely making a, a point of him. So... All, so he got banned in like 2021 for drinking in a remote duel. So he was drinking alcohol during a remote duel YCS. And he got banned for a year. And then it's been extended another year. And then it's been extended six months. And now it's been extended another six months. So he's gonna, at the moment his ban is three years. That's horrible. Fuck. Imagine drinking in a remote duel. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine being the scum of the earth. And drinking during a remote door YCS. I mean, after the remote door YCS that we had, where 
even though I stopped playing like in the main event, I was right. still up at like 3 a.m. I wanted to drinking, drink myself to death. If you were drinking during round one, you'd be sober by round two. <laughs> 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 uh, chairs in the chat. Chairs in the chat, please. Chairs in the chat. I'm surprised they've not paid me for that. I mean, if it was on Twitch, they wouldn't have seen it, right? They wouldn't have been able to connect was who was who. In the Discord, was I was just like, chairs in the chat. Yeah, we were chair reacting to whatever the judges... <laughs> Anything got said, it was chair react. I was posting chairs in the chat, though. Chairs in the chat. Chairs in the chat. Sorry, you cannot emote in this channel anymore. <laughs> Sorry, what's you cannot emote in? So, I disagree with the ruling that you can't inquire on the reasons why people were banned. I'm in favour of transparency. Yeah, yeah, I want to, like, we end up finding out most of the time anyway. Actually, just briefly as well. Um, when, because Justin Coda did, like, a video of, like, the moment he found out he was on being because his chat told him, and he was going through the list trying to find his name. I saw people on that list who have been banned since 2014. Oh, um, Farfa's editor's been banned for 10 years. What, Crash Cut? No, no, uh, the other guy, uh, Steve Blunder. And? Who used to be Farfa's editor. No, Too much please. drinking in remote drugs. He got banned for 10 years. I want to know what he did. What the hell did he do? If you know what he did... Tell us, Jerome. Please tell us. Yeah, Jerome. Just tell us what that guy did. Definitely a proxy, that. There really should be more transparency on who's got banned and for what. Because I don't... Like, it's just a raft of unsportsmanlike conduct. And asking it's vague questions conduct shouldn't... conduct or cheating? But, like, I've seen them go unsportsmanlike conduct, comma, cheating. <laughs> yeah, they, they only have two classifications. And they don't explain. So it's Why don't the other. TCG like to classify anything? Can we we have a like, whole fucking encyclopedia of unclassified effects. All these people are banned. Yes. There's only two levels of classification. Yes. It's bullshit. No. The five people that work for Konami TCG need to pull their fucking finger out. Yeah, one of them's got to quit being a... Mm. <laughs> I know who you're talking You've been a good too. guy, Jerome. <laughs> yeah, Jerome, you're my boy. People that don't like transparency, not my... Jerome's really turned it around these last 12 months. Yeah. Jerome for president. Yeah. Jerome, why don't you run for president? I'd vote for you. The Konami party. Oh, God. I'd vote for Jerome that. for Yeah, just... <laughs> four years of gambling! <laughs> I was going to say, we now distribute medicine by gacha. Jerome's um, a Republican. Is that, is, is that not the system? I wouldn't know. I'm not on that many meds. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Last question from 6 r 6 Do you prefer swimming in a pool or lounging beside it? Depends. Uh, no, it's it's very, normally swimming. Normally mm. once I'm out of the pool, I'm like, fuck this. I'm going, I'm going to have a shower. I'll sit in the spa. Yeah, I sit in the spa. Can't really swim in pools. I can swim in sea pools. But Why can't you swim in pools? The hair. Uh, mm, yeah. It's just too much. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to go green... Maybe. Actually, I do wonder. Maybe I should give it a go, because my hair goes too ready, so the green tint it actually might help. I don't, think how, I don't think that's how it works. I'm not the first to ask. Yeah. I can't, I can't help you with that. <laughs> One day I'll get you to change your hair. Doubtful. Um, He's doing good, actually. What? He's only lost like twenty-two percent. And there's no grace. I think there's a chunk back here somewhere, but oh, I've had that I'm, since no, I was about no, twelve. Yeah, no more that. Yeah, no, like. There's a reason why I shaved the sides of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed that actually. Um, no, I I've loved swimming in pools for years and years and years, like to the point where uh, my parents would have to fight to get me out of pools when we went over to like um, <laughs> other kids' houses. So I'd, I'd do that like cliche thing of like, Jake is starting to go, oh, I know. Okay, all right, fine, I'll come. Um, oh, no, I fell in. <laughs> now I'm going to swim that, back. That was a go-to for me. I'm just... <laughs> that, I've got to go all the way back to the stairs to yeah. get out. Yeah, it's, it's just not safe for me to yeah. go out here. No point oh, getting mad. the stairs are slippery. Oh. Yeah. What's done's done. <laughs> But on that point, and again, just to extend it a little bit, um, they put me into you swimming lessons when I was like maybe uh, nine or ten, uh, but I ended up getting kicked out because I stopped listening to the instructors and I just wanted to swim. I was really good at swimming, but I refused to. King. Like, oh, dead ass, I would like win the race if I entered, but like, there was a 50-50 chance that when I got to the blocks, I'd be like, 
No, I'm not doing it. Half my problem when I was younger, I've realized, is that I got into things too late. So I only started swimming super late, and like I said, I was like too ignorant of the instructor to actually do anything. Yep. I only started playing piano at 16, and then stopped playing at like 19. You only paid one sixteenth of the piano. Oh yeah. Well, we only got a piano when I was 16. Oh. Our piano got stolen. <laughs> it's worth a story. So it wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a piano, it was a pianola, which oh. is the self-playing piano. It got sent away to be repaired. And then How it didn't often come did back. How you play with your pianola? Not, uh, well, we couldn't. Nightly. <laughs> <laughs> they would play the pianola nightly. nightly. Well, that's the thing, you I didn't have to. It was a pianola, it played itself. You gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta hit the button and, and get a little turned on. You gotta hit the button. <laughs> Anyway, that'll do us for tonight. <laughs> Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, please like Sorry, and subscribe. I just want to say what? that that piano story was terrible. I wanted some fucking bandits to steal in your house. Yeah, just, house and just sling over the grand four, piano. Four people <laughs> just take your piano out the front door. I mean, it was more of a legal battle, like rather than a like late night heist of a piano. Like from the ages of six to heist. sixteen, like about ten years, I never knew where that piano was. Yeah, because then I was in um, high school and I was like doing music, so I needed to then play. But by the time we got it back, all the self-playing mechanisms had been taken out, so it was just a piano. <laughs> so I we had... would have known that there's piano chop shops where they take your piano, they yeah. take out all the self-playing stuff. Well, they don't. They don't ideas. make them anymore because everything went electronic. Oh, so it is like, oh. it is... listen to it on Spotify. <laughs> I want to listen to Mozart. You just have this massive grand piano and it's effectively an iPod dock. <laughs> but like under the stairs in our house, we've just got all of these um, pianola reels. Like, but no thing to play them on. <laughs> anyway, uh, again, thank you all for listening and watching. If you are watching, please like and subscribe. If you are listening, uh, favourite us. Uh, jump into our Discord, check out the uh, Nolan ban list. Uh, we've only got uh, 11 days to submit bans, so if you have anything in mind, jump on, get involved. Um, yeah, that too. Um, so 17th and 19th of December, we're playing in Wollongong, if you do want to come down. Uh, love to see you there. Otherwise, thank you all, and we'll catch you next week. Peace. Bye.